Poles are becoming an important asset to manage properly. In an age where more fiber is being built to support broadband needs, and utility poles are supporting more 5G small cells. In this demonstration, we will see some examples of how ArcGIS can support pole management and one-touch make-ready workflows. First, let's start with pole asset management and accessing pole details using a web GIS-centric approach. Here we have an ArcGIS dashboard that allows me to access all of our poll information in an interactive and summarized view. All of the polls in the map are being summarized in the summary chart and the poll list below. As we pan around the map, we'll see the summary list update based on what's in my map view. If we want details on a poll, we can easily search for the poll ID, which shows me where the poll is on the map and pulls up information on this poll. Or I can select a poll from our list, which also provides me with poll details. Now the polls on the map are symbolized by the poll owner, which we can see here in the legend and those owners across the top. And if I want to see polls by a certain owner, I can select that owner, which filters out those polls in our map view. With ArcGIS, we not only manage poll locations, but all aspects related to our polls, like joint use attachments and poll maintenance. Now in our map, I'll select a set of poles, which will allow us to see the number of attachments on these poles, as well as a breakdown of the owners of those attachments. And if I want additional details on each of those attachments, I can get that information as well. Lastly, as we perform our pole audits, and poll maintenance, we are tying that information to the poll assets in the GIS. Now this provides me with one view of our polls, our attachments, our violations, and any open or historical maintenance on our polls. Now proper poll management is also about being able to access this same asset information from anywhere, anytime, including out in the field. Here I have a mobile map book which provides me with access to all of my poll and facility data in an easy to use native ArcGIS app for my tablet. And through this app I can do things like change my base map, measure distances, and even quickly mark up my map. I can also search for assets while I am out in the field. Searching for poll 20127 finds that poll in the database and takes me right to the location of the poll on the map. Here we can see all the details on that poll. I'm also able to pull up additional related information on this poll, like any attachments. And here we can see that there are two attachments on this poll. All of those current and past maintenance tickets are also accessible through our mobile map book and related to this poll. And finally, this mobile map book is used to start any poll surveys that we may need to complete while out in the field by integrating with other ArcGIS field apps for data collection. And these surveys include updating a poll location, reporting a poll issue, adding attachments to a poll, or collecting a new poll location. And we'll see some examples of these surveys in action in just a minute. 
So by leveraging ArcGIS as a web GIS to help manage polls, we're able to easily access asset information anywhere and anytime through a web-based ArcGIS dashboard and mobile field app. Now let's see how we can start collecting this asset information and performing a poll attachment survey. ArcGIS enables poll asset management as well as the ability to perform poll audits and surveys. Here, I am in our mobile map book leveraging an ArcGIS field app and from this map, we can launch into different surveys. Let's start with collecting a new poll location followed by performing a poll audit and collecting information on attachments. So within our mobile map book, I'll select our new poll location survey. This brings me to a smart form to help me collect information on a new poll not in our database. We'll start with collecting the location of this poll. I'll use my GPS location or zoom in on the map and enter in the location of our new poll. Then we'll fill out some details like the poll ID, as well as details like what the poll is, a utility poll, its material, and who might the owner be. And if we have these other details, we can enter those in as well. Next, we'll add a photo of the poll. This will open up our camera, allowing us to take a photo of the new poll being collected. You'll also notice that the photo that gets stored with this poll record has been watermarked at the bottom of the photo with the poll ID, the date that this photo was taken, and the GPS coordinates of this poll. Next, we'll move on to the joint use attachment audit. And I can collect this information now or later as new attachments get added to this poll but we'll collect information on one of the attachments for now. I'll start by selecting the attachment position on the poll, the attachment type, the owner, adding additional comments, and taking a photo of the attachment. You'll notice this time, I have the ability to sketch up directly on top of the photo, designating who the owner is of this attachment. Now, before I send this record to the database, you'll notice I have the option to save this record on my tablet or send now, which means I can work in a completely disconnected environment and still perform my digital data collection. But since I have current network connectivity, we'll go ahead and send this record now. And since ArcGIS is a WebGIS centric poll management solution, as soon as I submit that record, I can view it in any other ArcGIS app. So back in our mobile map book, Let's go ahead and search for poll number 12345. And here is that new poll asset, all of its details, the photo of the poll that was taken, as well as information on any poll attachments. Finally, ArcGIS is an open platform and integrates with third-party automation tools like webhooks. This means that we can have alerts and notifications sent as data is collected or updated from the field. For example, here is an email notification that was triggered when I submitted our new poll record. And attached to this email, 
is a PDF report that provides me with all that information we just collected in our survey app. By leveraging ArcGIS field apps for poll audits and surveys, we're able to easily collect poll information and populate that data into our GIS-based asset management system in real time. Let's now move on to poll inspections and maintenance and show how ArcGIS can manage reporting poll issues, creating work orders and assignments, and verifying inspections or maintenance. ArcGIS is a complete poll management solution for asset management, performing poll audits, and managing inspections and maintenance. Here is a mobile map book in an ArcGIS field app that is displaying our poll assets. Now while performing some routine work in the field, I notice an issue with one of our polls. Poll 12345 shows that there is only one attachment on the poll, but it appears that there have been additional attachments added. Now since I am under a time crunch for my field work, I don't have time to look into this issue further, but I want to quickly report this issue to our organization. So with poll 12345 selected on the map, I'll go into our poll surveys and report an issue on this poll. Now this opens up a field app for quickly collecting information. We can see that the poll number has already been pre-populated into our form and that I have a list of issues that I can report as well as the severity of that issue. So selecting a critical attachment violation issue opens up the camera to quickly snap a photo of that issue. Critical priority. This report is then automatically sent to the back office and just like that, I've reported a problem and I'm back to my work. Now, as soon as that issue is reported, it's available for a dispatcher to view and assign as an inspection. Here, we have an ArcGIS Office app for managing and creating maintenance tickets and inspections. As new poll issues are reported, they come in as unassigned issues. First, let's assign an inspection verification survey to one of our available field workers. I'll select the work order where I can see that it is a critical priority as well as a photo taken of the reported issue. I'll then assign this inspection to one of my working field techs who is nearby. And it looks like Patrick is currently working and is only 61 feet away. Once this work is assigned, it then drops from our unassigned list. Next, I'll create a maintenance ticket associated with this poll for tracking further maintenance that may be required of this attachment violation. So I'll select our poll from the list, which opens up our ticketing form. I'll enter in our ticket number, the maintenance type, poll violation, update the ticket status as assigned, and we'll assign it to Patrick. Then we'll submit. Now, a work order has been created to verify this attachment violation and a ticket has been created for this poll. So let's head back into the field to complete this work order and perform our inspection survey. Back in the field, I'll access my work orders and tickets through the ArcGIS field apps. Here we can see that a new critical assignment has been added. I'll select that work order and acknowledge that I have seen this critical assignment. Then I'll start our verification survey. To report if further maintenance is required on this poll or if there are no actual attachment violations, let's go ahead and open up the poll maintenance ticket. 
in the survey app, I'll go to my inbox and hit refresh. This shows me all the maintenance tickets that have been assigned to me and will select the ticket for poll 12345. Here I have all the ticket information where I can verify this attachment violation does require maintenance. And I'll also enter in the date of my inspection. I can also add any additional photos that verify what's going on in the field. But for now, we'll just submit our update to this ticket, removing it from our inbox. Finally, since my work is now complete and I've verified that there is an attachment violation, let's close out our work order. Back in the office, we pull up our poll audit dashboard and we can see all of the maintenance tickets and any attachment violations. We can select the recent poll attachment violation from our list, which takes us right to that poll location. By leveraging ArcGIS Office and Field Apps, we can streamline poll inspection and maintenance workflows while managing and tracking the status of maintenance tickets and poll violations. This ArcGIS solution for poll management enables asset management, streamlines poll audits and surveys, and manages inspection and maintenance workflows. Polls are an essential asset in the communications world, and a WebGIS-centric approach to managing polls can help you improve all aspects of poll management. Thank you.